my shepherd I shall not want He maketh me to lie down in green pasture He leadeth me beside the waters of rest He restoreth my soul of all of you. May you have a safe night. May you walk in righteousness. May you walk in the love that God provides. The Bible says in Proverbs in the 18th chapter, it says death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And Halloween is a holiday that celebrates death. Even today on the news, there are over 100 people crushed during Halloween festivities in South Korea. There are people that died tonight during this festival, a festival that celebrates satanic and occult practices. And that's outwardly, but indirectly. We'll see debauchery here tonight. We'll see drunkenness. We'll see sexual immorality. And we'll see idolatry. The Bible says these things are sins, and the wages of sin are death. But we're not here to talk about death. We're here to proclaim life. For as Christians, we believe that's the greatest gift you can receive is the gift of life. And I wanted to share with you a little bit about what the Bible says about life and death. Because it's true that there is power in the tongue. You can't speak life. You can't speak death. In the beginning, God, God created the heavens and earth. Created the heavens and earth through his speech. He took Adam from the earth and molded him and breathed into his nostrils to give him life. He breathed life into man. And he continues throughout the Bible, through its prophets, breathing life into all of us, letting us know the right way to live. Let us know how to find him, have the communion with our creator. And he speaks out to you even today through street preachers and his word in the hopes that you will receive it. Out of love for you, that you will have life being spoken into you. But the Bible also talks where death has been spoken into people. We see that in the beginning. We see that in the Garden of Eden. We see where the serpent comes up to Eve and tips her, telling her it's okay. It's okay to eat the tree of knowledge and good and evil, to ignore God's message, that God was deceiving her in some way, that you could be like God's. And so she was tempted. And then it wasn't enough for her to hear those words and be tempted herself that she brought Adam into it, lying to Adam as well. And the result of that was what? The role of that is they sinned against God. And they brought death into the world, for that's what sin does. It brings forward death. That's what's known as the fall. But we see it elsewhere, we see the example of Samson, where a strong man as Samson was. It was the words of Delilah that convinced him to give away his secret about his hair, and God left him in a moment. We see that in Solomon. Solomon, a man who was known to be the wisest in the ancient world, and yet for all his wisdom, he took on 700 wives and 300 concubines, under the belief that marriage was a way for trade. And though it was helpful in an economic sense for Israel, over time, slowly it pulled him away from God. It pulled him away from his love of the Creator. God bless you. Hey, say the name of Jesus for me. 
And when they were pulled away from God, we see God responding as Israel was broken up, not under Solomon's reign, but his sons, Rehoboam. And that is the cost of moving away. It's usually the second or third generation that experiences the sins of their fathers and their grandfathers, and we're living through that today. How many of you are still wounded by 
Maybe the sixth grade, the girl told me you were ugly or dumb. Or maybe someone told you in your family that you couldn't be X. And it crushed your dreams. That's the power of words. That's the power of the tongue. You can speak death to those things. God that loves them even in their rebellion. Amen. 
If Christ came to his own, his own received him not. So he went out to be Gentiles. And to all those who believe in his name, he granted them the right to become children of God.
For as the Bible says, those who have an ear, let them hear. So if your heart is touched, if your heart is pricked, take it into your heart and be changed. Let this be the night that you think of God. Do not push it out of your mind. Let this be the night. Let the thought stay with you so you can grow and seek after the Lord. My brothers and sisters here today are to share the gospel with you. If you have questions, please come to us. If you need prayer, if you need help, God offers a better hope in His Son, Jesus Christ. Seek the Lord while He may be found. Call upon Him while He is near. Let the wicked forsake their evil ways and the unrighteous their thoughts and return to the Lord where you may see mercy and be abundantly pardoned. People, they don't, they don't know the history of Halloween. The thing is that Halloween could be harmless. It could, it could be just like it's a big joke. It's just like to dress up and do this and that. But the reality is that if you believe that history is real, then you have to believe in what Halloween is all about. And it says in CNN that Halloween, this, they did this article in the year 2020, that Halloween comes from an ancient, an ancient pagan festival celebrated by Celtic people over 2,000 years ago called Samhain, meaning summer's end. That means that at the end of summer, they would have a festival where they believe that the dead could walk among the living. The thing is that this may seem harmless. It may seem harmless to dress like Mario and Luigi and dress like a devil and, you know, and, you know just go to parties and think that it's okay and cool. Because I've been it for 30 years. But one thing is it says in Ephesians 5, 7 through 8. This is, this is what the Lord your God thinks about this kind of thing. Therefore do not become partners with the dark. For at one time you were in the darkness, but now you are the light of the Lord. So walk as children of light. These are the, these are the words of the Lord. It says in 1 Corinthians 10. That the Gentiles, that means the people, they sacrifice to demons and not to God. And I don't want you to have fellowship with demons. You cannot drink out of the cup of the devil and drink out of the cup of God. You cannot partake at the Lord's table and also at the table with demons. So why do we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than him to be able to think outside of what his word says? The history of the pumpkin. Many, I see many people, many pastors, they let their kids go and decorate pumpkins. But the, is, the history of the pumpkin itself is that it came from Ireland. The pumpkin is from Ireland. Jack, his name was Jack. He was prevented from going to hell. So the devil gave Jack a pumpkin. This is real. This is on CNN. The devil gave Jack a pumpkin. And Jack didn't go to heaven or to hell. He stayed here on earth. This ties into Catholic purgatory. The Catholics believe in South America and in Europe that there's a place called purgatory. That when you die, you go to this place where you get to reconcile yourself to God. But that is not true. It says in 2 Corinthians 5, 20, reconcile yourself to God. Come back to God now. For man is appointed to die once. For man is appointed to die once. And then comes the judgment of God. Some people are trying to work so hard to find their spouse. But, you know, you may never be in the market for a spouse. Why do you try to find your spouse here on earth when your spouse, when your spouse is only the one that gives you life? The one that breathes the life into you. The traditions of wearing costumes and candy. This is from CNN. The Celtics wore costumes to detract evil spirits. The reasons why you shouldn't do this is because it opens portals to demons in the spirit. You also pretend to be something that you're not. That means you worship the way that you're dressing, even though you're not really meaning to, to take that into, into full truth. Even though you don't really believe in the costume that you're wearing, the Celtics wore costumes, this is from CNN, to detract spirits. The reason
reason that you shouldn't do this is because you're opening the portals of demons in the spirit. And the reality is that this is true. It says in Proverbs 12, 22, the Lord detests unworthy, un untrustworthy people. The Celtics would be candy. The Celtics would be candy as offerings to demons. This is why we don't eat, play, or feed with evil spirits. But now in this world, people try to kill yeah. those that come to the devil, and they try to drink out of the cup of God. Just because the world says that it's okay, we shouldn't do what the world does because the world leads people to hell. The thing is, it says in Ephesians 5, do not be partakers with darkness. Many people, they laugh, but enjoy your 20s and your 30s while you still can. The, the Word of God is the only thing that matters. It says in Romans 2, be transformed by the renewal of your mind. It says in Ephesians 5, now you are children of light. Once again, Ephesians 5, 7 through 8, therefore do not become partakers with them. This is the Word of the Lord. But at one time you were in darkness, but now you are a child of, you are the light in the Lord. And even though a person seven times, a righteous woman gets back up, and they repent of the ways that they've been doing. For God doesn't want us to partake in these things. It says in, it says in 1 Corinthians 10, the Gentiles sacrifice to demons and not to God, and I don't want you to have fellowship with demons. You cannot drink out of the cup of the devil and drink it out of the cup of God. You cannot sit at the Lord's table.
get out of hell. No matter how much you say that it's not real, it is real. Heaven is real. Hell is real. And God doesn't want you to go to hell. The thing is, why do we fall in the world? If you follow culture, the only... Look at Kanye West. He's being taken out of culture. Look at Elon Musk. He's leaving culture. Culture devours people and sends them to death and not to life. The only thing that sends you to life is Jesus Christ and the Word of God. For the devil, if even Kanye West is way more popular than you, and Kanye West already discovered that the world devours you and sends people to hell, once again, I'm not the only one out here saying the truth. For Kanye West already found the truth. He knows that culture devours you and sends you to hell. For if you follow the ways of culture, that's why Kanye West had enough with it. But the world thinks that he's crazy. That's why Jesus said you'll be persecuted by the whole world in my name's sake. To Ephesians 5, 7 through 8. These are the words of the Lord. Therefore do not become partakers of them. For one time you were in the darkness, but now you are the light of the Lord. Walk as the children of light. 1 Corinthians 10. You cannot drink out of the cup of the devil and drink out of the cup of God. You cannot the Lord's table and sit at the devil's table as well. Jesus gave a warning. He said, if you're lukewarm, I'm going to spit you out. This is the reality is that many will say, Lord, Lord, but they won't enter heaven. This is the reality. It's better than you get married than you don't do these things. The thing is that many people, they don't want to follow the path of the light. They want to stay in the dark. You know, if we can see in the spiritual realm, if we could see in the spiritual realm, you would see demons walking up and down these streets. These people think that ghosts are real, but ghosts are not real. The Bible says that demons travel around in dry spaces looking for a host. The devil is real. Demons are real. Most people that walk around, they believe in the devil. They believe in demons, but they don't believe in God. That's why there's so many ghosts. That's why there's so many ghosts at a, at a, at a grave site. Because when people die, their devils stay here and they go to hell. But with Jesus Christ, you are freed of the devil. That means that you won't you don't allow him to grab you anymore. All the things that you thought was okay, it's not going to be okay to you anymore. We have somebody that was addicted to meth right here. We have somebody that was addicted to whatever else over here. We have somebody that was following their own path over here. So now we follow in the path of the Lord. It says in Psalm 37, verse 23, the steps of the Lord are established. The steps of man are established by the Lord. When he delights in his way, he won't let you down. The world will let you down. All these things that we do in this culture, people think it's okay to get drunk and, and fill your mind with obscenities. But Kanye West already snapped himself out of it. You can snap yourself out of it too. But the Holy Spirit will change you and you can join in the path that Kanye West is following. Are you going to follow in the ways of the people that mock Kanye West and mock Jesus? Or are you going to follow in the past of the ones that detach themselves from the world? Detach yourself from the world. Many people think that we're out here trying to bring people to, to Sunday church. No, we're trying to, we're trying to say that Jesus power, a power that's beyond understanding. It's never going to be the same. It says in Acts 1-8, they were filled with power and they were witnesses to the four corners of the earth. The reality is, why do we idolize our 20s and our 30s when they're only so, they're only numbered for so long? Many people are trying to find their spouse, but they're walking around dressing like devils. How is God going to give you your spouse if you're still following a path Sleeping with the devil. How about you sleep? How about you come back to the Lord's table and he will give you what you need? Many people, that's their number one desire is to have a family. But don't you know that your family is the family of the Lord? Don't you know that God wants you back at his table? You know, you, your name may be, your name may be Demetrius. Your name may be John. Your name may be, your name may be, sorry. God has a place prepared for you at his table if you choose to come back to him. 
You know that demons are real. This is why whenever you whenever you've seen that TikTok about a about a Tesla that went up to the, the grave site and saw a bunch of beings there. Ghosts aren't real, demons are real. That's why when people die, their demons stay at the grave site, then you get devoured down to hell. This is the only reason, this is how the devil works. The devil has devils in this world that drag you down as soon as you die. But with Jesus Christ, you won't get devoured. You need a water. You do not get devoured by the devil. Many souls like are going to hell right now no. as we speak. That's what, oh, oh. You know what this but is? the good news is that Jesus overcame the world. Jesus overcame the devil. Demons, if they were, if demons were no, actually, this is our, my last if demons one. were actually in the physical, one, though, they would be it. destroying people left and right. We wouldn't be able to match their supernatural strength. But the Bible says in Luke 10, 17, that demons tremble in the name of Jesus Christ. The only name that can devour the devil is the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has power. That's why the name of Jesus is the name above all names. He's the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end. The devil trembles in Jesus' name. The devil has no power in Jesus' name. No darkness can infiltrate the light. The name of Jesus brings a light that is beyond understanding. That's why when people die, people have near death experiences and they see the light. It's called Macro Life 2011. The Many people die and they see the light. They say that when they see the light, that it, it's filled, they're filled with so much love that the only thing they want to do is come back to the world and love. But don't you know that the Bible says that love rejoices in truth and not in evil? The love of God is beyond understanding, but you won't get a full grasp of it here on earth unless you want it. You will either be loved by the world or you'll be loved by God. But God's not going to force himself into your life. There's a, there's a place for you. I'll be prepared for you at the Lord's table. And it's time for you to choose if you want that place. Do you want the place at the Lord's table or not? For somebody prophesied that in these last days, it is true. It's true. Who oh, the goats and the sheep are. The goats, they don't want God at all. But don't you know that you'll be labeled a goat if Jesus finds you unworthy by your actions? That means that your life is not a reflection of the Jesus offers for you is a power to overcome every kind of sin. The time has come now that Jesus talked about where the goats and the sheep are going to be separated. And the goats, they don't want anything to do with God. But don't you know that Jesus said that the ones that will join the goats are the ones that are lukewarm. He will spit them out. So that's why God has a place prepared for you at the table. And all who have ears to hear, come back to the table. The ones who have ears to hear, they don't mock Jesus Christ. You know about God. But God wants you to come back to the table before it's too late. If you die today, what does it matter about the things that are about to happen? Don't you know that Russia is fighting Ukraine? China is fighting Taiwan. North Korea is fighting Japan. Egypt is fighting Morocco. The United States is getting their feet wet. These things are real. What are you going to do? Russia take over the United States. Are you going to submit to them? Are you going to submit to the money? Are you going to submit to not God? There's going to be the day where you're not going to get to choose what you want. Right now, you can go buy a hot slice of pizza. And that hot slice of pizza right now is the word of God. But what are you going to do if one day you can't get any more pizza? Just like in that here. What are you going to do the day that comes where you say the name of Jesus and they throw us in prison for 10 years? Those days are coming here. If you don't think so, then you got to do it. You don't know. The thing is that these days are numbers, and God is wanting you to come back to his table now. That's why the history of the pumpkin is that pumpkins are a tradition from Ireland. Jack, was, Jack the Ripper was prevented from going to hell. The devil gave Jack. Where's my history? A man thinks they're so tough in their own eyes. But the thing is that man has no wisdom at all. The only thing that has wisdom is the word of God. And get out of your fornication table. Stop drinking out of the cup of fornication. The cup of the devil. Many people, they believe in the devil. They believe in demons, but they don't believe in God. But don't you know that it's when you die, your devil stay here in the grave and you go to hell. Hell is an eternal separation from God. 
Hell is real. Hell is a place that God doesn't want you to go. And many people, they wake up in hell and they say, God, why did I end up in hell? But I believed in you. But Jesus said in his word that many will say, Lord, and they will enter heaven because they never really sought after him. It says, draw near to the Lord and he will draw near to you. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. If you don't want God, then you don't have to accept his place as a table. But you will get a table that leads you to death. You will get eternal separation from God. This is the truth. I testify to you that God wants a clear indication. You cannot drink out of the cup of the devil and drink it out of the cup of God. Do you know that in hell they rape you from every hole in your body? In hell they cut off your limbs. They rebuke you. They curse you. It's a horrible place. The Bible says in hell is an area of weeping and gnashing of teeth. Eternal separation from God. A worm that never dies. And it's eternal burning sulfur. God has a place prepared for you at his table. Do not let your friends take you down to hell with them. So that's why there's a lot of demons at the grave site. Because when you die, God bless your brother. When you die, the devil stay here and you go to hell. This is how it works. This is why we live in a world where people care about themselves. Because they're deceived by devils. Everything around you is deceiving you to death. Because the devil, his only goal is not to give money. All the money already belongs to the devil. His Jesus. only goal. The devil right there. His Come only goal. She's not a devil. She's a human being. But the devil is real. And this world belongs to the devil. That's why the devil is the prince of the air and the god of this world. And he's a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. But why do we dress up like the devil? Why do we? Because I like the red. It's okay. God will forgive you. I pray that God opens up your eyes and he gives you a gift of faith. The gift of salvation. It's the truth you say. You'll know that Jesus said you'll know the ones that are going to heaven by their fruits. I love Jesus. Do you have any fruits? It says that many will say, Lord, and they will enter heaven. That even the devil, he believes in God. I say these things for the ones that believe. They grew up in the church. They need to snap out of it. Many will say, this convicts all of us that are standing here. Many will say, Lord, and they will not enter heaven. And even the devil believes in God. This convicts every single person that's standing right here. Many will say, Lord, and they will not enter heaven. That means that not everybody that calls upon the name of the Lord Jesus will inherit heaven. Jesus said that he's wanting character. He's wanting fruits. He's wanting you to manage what he's giving you for him. And he gives you time to come back to him and remember him. But if you forget about him, none of these things. Do you think that George Washington exists in heaven? No, it does not. Do you think that... Do you think that cars exist in heaven? No, they do not. You're either going to be married to Jesus Christ or you're going to be separated from God. There's only two options. There's not one option. There's two options. Not everybody who says Lord will enter heaven. It says in CNN. It says, it says in CNN that the history of Halloween is a Halloween come from an ancient pagan festival celebrated by Celtic people over 2,000 years ago called Samhain. Samhain is a principality under the devil. Samhain in the witchcraft calendar. This is the month of Samhain on the witchcraft calendar. They believe that the festival was a time of the dead and walk among the living. I see a lot of dead people walking here and the thing is that the people have Jesus they're in the light. They don't see things the same. All the, all the music won't be the same. Look at who you love. You will be detached from this world. We're all being made more like Jesus. But all those who have ears, God is calling you here. Because I already prayed with my brothers and sisters that there's many angels here. Even though you cannot see them, they will do a work in you if you want them to work. Angels only work for Jesus Christ. But if you call on him, they will work for you. They will get you separated from all the things that you used to like. If you want to be free from, if you need any prayer, if you need any healing, if you want to be free, come over here. Because we'll pray for you. You'll no longer have an urge for tobacco. You'll no longer have an urge for alcohol. Why? Because this is how it worked for each one of us. There's a meth addict over here. There's a cocaine addict over here. There's many types of addicts over here. 